Uh, so sort of looking forward, let, let's say, you know, hypothetically, we get to the election. Let's say that, that Biden wins, you know, based on the polls, it's sort of how it looks like it's going, although, you know, you can't write off any possibility. Right, yes. Um, you can't do that. But in your tra in the trailer for Hello Somebody, you talk about uh, going from perseverance to resistance. So let's say that hypothetically we end up Biden's in the office. What does that sort of resistance look like? What, what is the fight? What is the, the flavor of the fight going to be if that's the, the world that we end up in? Continue to stand up for the value proposition that we laid out, the policies that we are fighting for. That has to be, we cannot fall so in love with a candidate that we don't hold them accountable, that we don't critique them. And unfortunately, that has happened over the last you know, two or three presidential cycles. Well, no, it's not just that. We we fall in love with candidates and we feel like we're going to hurt their feelings if we critique them. No, we mm -hmm. need to critique them and we need to push them to do the right thing. And so that resistance part is about the progressive movement coalescing with other co-conspirators and allies, to speak the language of Michael Rinder, who are ready, willing, and able to not just take it to the streets, but to seize the power. One of the failings of the progressive movement is that we don't like to talk about power. Norman Solomon gave a great, a great critique of what power is and how we must seize that power to do the greatest good. And that's what we need to do. So if Mr. Biden is successful, make no mistake, the progressive movement needs to be out there and ride hard for the entirety of his presidency to make sure that our issues are on the table and that those issues are passed, that they are activated. And if they are not, there has to be a consequence. And it's not just the presidency, John, it's the people in the Congress in both chambers. It's who our governors are, who serves in the state legislature. We really don't talk about the state legislature, John, and we're gonna be in for yeah. a whole awakening because the Democratic Party is not putting a lot of effort in the legislature. And as somebody who served, I understand what it means to serve at a time where you have a census and also to serve at a time when lines are gonna be redrawn. And we're going to wake up because we didn't put the efforts in making sure that we have progressives winning those races in the state legislature and having those lines drawn in a way where politicians yet again get to pick their constituents instead yeah. of the other way around. And so it's all levels of government. That was a long way for me to say that this change that we need, the creating of a better nation that we need, does not rise and fall on the presidency. The presidency is just one aspect of that, a very big aspect of that. But mm -hmm. we need to be in the streets on all levels of government, pushing these elected officials, the people who we give our power to, to advocate on our behalf, to do our bidding, and not just the bidding of major donors. Yeah, I, you're you're 100 right about the state government. You know, thankfully they're organizations like Our Revolution and, and others that are that are paying attention to that. The National Democratic Party seems to barely even care, and I think that that is a fatal weakness. Um, and on Congress, what I've been saying for a long time is, uh, I want to get to a point where I can't name all of the good politicians in one breath. Absolutely. And we're not, we're not there yet. No, <laughs> like, we I can, not. I can remember them all. I don't want to be able to remember them all. <laughs> but we can um, get there, John. I'm with you on that. I hope so. Uh, Nina Turner, uh, as always, thank you for joining us, everybody. Um, you know, check out Hello Somebody, uh, available at, like Nina said, at all the places uh, you can find podcasts. Uh, thank you so much, Nina. Thanks, John. As always. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.